to my channel. I've been to Home Bargains and I thought I would show you what I purchased while I was there. I really hope that the sun doesn't bother you too much. It is coming in and out of the clouds. I've actually got the curtains closed because it's that bright. Um, so hopefully it doesn't go too dark, but hopefully it doesn't go too bright either. So we'll have to just bear with it if it does one of the two. Hopefully it'll be fine. So I th thought I'd show you what I got from Home Bargains. I needed to just stock up on a few bits and we have one... It's about 30 minutes drive from here but it's close to where my sister lives that is really big so I thought I would head there because there would be more choice in what I was able to purchase so I'll just show you what I got it won't be in any particular order I'm just going to pull it out as it comes and see what I got so the first item is this Daz washing liquid and um, I needed some more I'm not running out yet but I like to make sure I've got one or two in stock um, so that when I run out of one I've still got some in stock and I don't ever run out of it I don't usually use Daz but I thought I'd give it a go it was probably the best for its price of the liquid I prefer to use liquid rather than powder because it makes less mess um, and I thought this was a good choice it says it's for whites and colours so that's good and this particular size says it is for 49 washes this was 4 99 so just it's five pounds for that so hopefully that works well and it's quite a good price for what I got there I also picked up this personal non bio washing liquid I need to start washing all the baby clothes so all of Tommy's old clothes from when he was a baby I need to pull everything out and start washing what I want this new baby to wear and so I wanted to pick up some non bio washing liquid I did use non bio with Tommy when he was very little but his skin isn't very sensitive so we've been able to use normal washing liquid for the whole family for a very long time but of course with a new baby you have to be really careful with their skin and i won't know whether this new baby has sensitive skin or not so i want to get non-bio so i'll be using this for all the baby clothes and i'm looking forward to getting organized getting those clothes out and getting them in the right boxes in the bedroom we use boxes in the nursery because it's such a small room and Tommy's going to be moving into the bigger room so I just need to move everything over or we need to get the spare bedroom organised and move everything over and then I can start getting the baby clothes organised but I can't do that without this so I've purchased that and this was 6 99 and this does 60 washes so it's a similar price even though it's slightly more expensive but it apparently does more washes so it's kind of like a similar price to the Daz that I bought. I purchased a colouring activity book for Tommy and um, that was £2. Um, it says colouring and activity placemats so actually when you open it up you can take each sheet out and it's like a placemat for where they sit at the table and then they can do the colouring so there's some dot to dots he's a bit young for dot to dots at the moment but I just wanted something to take when we want to keep him quiet. So when we go to church or other places where we want to keep him quiet. We do take books with us and a few other toys that are quiet toys. But I just thought this might be a bit different. He does do colouring at home but not all that much. And I thought this might be something that's a bit special for when we're out. And hopefully it will help keep him quiet. So I thought that was quite nice for £2. I purchased a set of three canvases. Um, these are 20 by 30 centimetres, 30 by 40 centimetres and 40 by 50 centimetres so you can see the back there they've got the three different sizes. This is for a gift idea that I have, I'm not going to say what it is because the person might be watching and I don't want to give it away um, but I have this gift idea that I want to do and I just needed a bigger canvas, I have some small canvases but I needed a bigger one so hopefully this is the right size and it will work um but they were only they were only 2.99 so it's not a bad price for three canvases and obviously i'll have a, two more canvases left over for other craft ideas that i have that i want to do with tommy or whatever else around the house i picked up a pack of cotton pads so these and um, 80 in the packet it's just just normal cotton pads and they were 60 pence for those which says cotton soft cotton wool round pads just for removing my makeup the moment I walked into the shop Tommy straight away saw these standing there <laughs> waiting for him to pull out and put into the trolley so I picked up two packets they were only actually 99 pence each which is a really good price 
and it's something I purchased from anyway. And they're just the Pom Bear. So I've got the original and I've got the cheese and onion. And as you can see, I've already opened it up because he was getting a bit ratty in the shop. So I gave him a packet while I was walking around the shops. Um, but for 99 pence and it's five in the pack. So it's not too bad a price. I picked up a packet of these Ritz crackers. They were just 89 pence, so not a bad price. And it's just for a little snack for Tommy or myself um, if I maybe am out and about and I don't want to take lots of other food with me. These are just really handy to have um, in or even at home as well. I needed to stock up on Weetabix, so I picked up this box of Weetabix, which is a 72 pack. And this was 3 99 which I think is the cheapest I've ever seen it. Um, you can get it for 3 99 other places, um, but this is the cheapest that I've ever seen it. So I picked this up because we were getting low. I picked up two hand washes because we were getting a little bit low and I just wanted to stock up. Um, this one here is a rhubarb and raspberry. And this one here is a vanilla and macadamia cocoon. And this one says it is an antibacterial hand wash, which is good, obviously, for killing any germs when you're dealing with dirty nappies and such. So I'm not sure where they'll go. Um, I usually tip some into a dispenser within the bath and mother kitchen, um, so because I've got dispensers for those two rooms. So I used to just top it up, and so I probably will put it in both if or either. Not too sure yet. And this soap was 89 pence and this one was 99 pence. I needed a new shampoo and conditioner so I picked up these which is a herbal essence and it is the deep moisture with coconut essence in. And they were 1.99 each which isn't too bad of a price. It is the 400 ml bottles that I got so they're not tiny but they're not the huge ones either. I also needed to stock up on toothpaste. I know we've got a spare one upstairs but I always like to have a few in and then they last us for a few months and then I stock up again. So I picked up these which is a Colgate deep clean whitening with bicarbonate of soda and I got three packs of those and they were just a pound each. I also picked up some bin liners. I got these ones, which is the heavy duty refuse sacks. I like to get the heavy duty ones because I find if they're too thin, they just rip. And um, when we first got this big bin, because we used to just have a little bin, I got the cheaper ones and they just rip straight away. So there's just no point because you're having to use two or three each time you use a bin liner anyway. So you might as well get thicker ones. So hopefully these are thick enough. These are 2 99 for 50 and I got the 50 litre, I think. Yeah, the 50 litre, so hopefully that's the right size. And it says they're super strong, so hopefully it lives up to the what it says. I also picked up some freezer bags. So I've got these ones, which are 45 Thai handle food and freezer bags. Um, so they're just for food to go in the freezer or into our bag if we're going on a day out. And these are the medium ones. And these were 79 pence for the pack of 45. I picked up some window lean wipes, so for windows and glass surfaces. There's 15 wipes in this. I am all about convenience at the moment. For a while I was really trying to use my own cloths and own spray bottles, but since being pregnant I just need convenience. And using wipes where you don't have to spray anything, you can just grab the packet and just clean has just been what I've really needed at the moment. Um, no doubt when this baby comes and I get into the swing of things, I will go back to how I was doing it before. But for now, this is how I need to do it. But these are streak free shine, added vinegar, dissolves grease and lifts off dirt. So hopefully this will help me keep on top of doing the windows without too much effort. Because I find the windows really hard to do, not only is it hard to reach them, but it's just an effort on top of everything else that needs doing around the house. So hopefully this will help. And they were 79 pence for the pack, so not too badly priced. But saying that, I did pick up this bottle of cleaner. So I've kind of gone against what I've just said by picking this up. I'd seen this product on someone else's video on YouTube and thought it looked interesting and it wasn't badly priced. It was just 79 pence, so I thought for 79 pence, it was worth a try. And it's a Star Drops white vinegar spray and it says it's multi-purpose, laundry stain remover and effective on lime scale. Um, obviously you can use this on glass and mirrors but I was thinking maybe on my 
um, kind of chrome, like the, the taps and around the sinks that I could maybe try and use this and see if it helps shine them a little bit. But I thought for less than 80 pence, I could give it a try. And even if I don't use it now, it will be in the cupboard ready for when I'm ready to really get into the house cleaning it properly again. And no doubt I will do a really good deep clean before this baby comes. So I'll be using this. I also picked up these flash magic eraser sponges. Um, I've had these type of things before and these are just really good for getting marks off your walls and doors um, particularly if someone is using crayons where they shouldn't be using them he's got a, a patch of wall over there in the living room which it's almost like he thinks it's his wall to colour on because that is always the place he goes with his crayon in fact I can see a mark on the wall now which I haven't got off yet and it does take a little bit of the paint off but because we've got magnolia walls it's not too noticeable but it gets rid of those marks so all the crayon marks are gone so it is really good you just wet them and use them on the marks and no doubt they'll work on other areas of the house as well so I thought I'd pick these up because I think ours have run out now that I had in the cupboard and I know there's a few marks on the house which I want to get rid of so I'll give these a go and these were $1.99 for the pack um, it's a pack of two and if that is a whole sponge there I'll probably cut it in half and then obviously I'll get four sponges out of it rather than just using the whole size of the sponge so not too bad in price. I think I've had it cheaper before from Pound Shop. Not too sure, but it was an unbranded. So I wonder if Flash will be any better. So we'll give that a go. And my last item, because I can see my battery is running out. I picked up this microfiber glass cloth. Um, it's apparently can be used without any detergents and removes dirt, dust and grease. And so I thought that would be worth using. I like to use some polish wipes at the moment and they are dry polish wipes. So I thought I'd give this a go because there's no effort. I can just grab this cloth and polish and see if that works any better. The dust in our house is horrendous. I'll duck polish and literally the next day I feel like I need to polish again. So it's an absolute nightmare, but I thought I'd give this a go. And this was just 39 pence, so definitely worth giving it a go. Anyway, that's everything I have for this haul. Actually, I did get one other thing, and that was a packet of crackers. They were less than a pound, but I've already opened those up and started eating them. I just fancied some crackers and cheese, so I picked some of those up, and they were less than a pound for the packet. And I think they were Jacob's crackers. So in total, I spent about £44, so not too bad for everything that I got. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.